Okay, right, uh, so you see what we're following. Uh, we've now got the wall plates off here. We're on the courtyard side. So we've got our wall plates off and obviously old building, it's moved around a lot. So our post positions are a bit all over the place. They're not in a straight line as they might have originally once been. So we need to now plot out, we need to basically make it a zigzaggy wall plate to go on top of here so that it sits nicely on top of the posts. Uh, so we're just plotting out some points using a straight line, a straight string line here as a reference point. Uh, we've got it on a block at the end there. Over here. So We have a string line at a set distance down and a set distance away from the face of this post. And then it's the same on the other side where we're gonna connect our wall plate to and that runs through. So essentially what we've created is a line parallel down from the tops of these posts where our wall plate is gonna sit. Wall plate sits on top of here, tenon, wall plate, wall plate sits on there. So now we have a parallel line from the top of this post to the top of the post at the far end there. And with that information, we are able to plot out different heights of the posts in the middle. And by using a level, if you back up a bit there, Pete, we can put a level on the top of this post. Let's level that way, measure down. This level, we are about 147. Now, our blocks are set 100 mil down off of the tops of these posts. This measurement is 147. So if I take off the 100 mil, I know that this post is set 47 mil higher than that post over there. And then we can do the same on that post. And we can also use this as a reference to gauge the distance away from the post as well. So we can go level there, top of the post, level about there, about 65 mil. Now, 65 mil here, the string is sat about 96 mil, which is just the size of the bit of timber we used. That's sat 96 mil off. So I can deduct that number from this number and that gives me the offset that it runs out away from the building. I can't remember what I said it was there. Was it 96, 96 and 65, was it? Um, I think that was what it was. Yeah, so whatever that diff distance is there is how much it's gonna step right. in. And once I've got all of those differences in height, vertically and in plan view as well, how it steps down the frame, I can then use the distance between the posts plot out points in a zigzag fashion um, basically like a dot to dot uh, that will dictate where the underside of our wall plate goes so now I've got a load of numbers I can go home get on the computer and draw us out a nice detailed scarf uh, wall plate and scarf detail uh, for these wall plates and theoretically they should fit lovely <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Maybe a bit of fettling, a little bit to obviously take into consideration twist of the timbers and stuff like that, yeah. as you would with any normal framing. Um, but that's the bare bones of how we're gonna plot out these incredibly sort of deviating, very not straight posts. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's what we'll be doing. That's what we'll be doing next. So, Fantastic. Yeah, I mean, once uh, maybe Pete can come back, once we've got our plans drawn up for the wall plates and we're actually scarfing them on the ground, we can see how we've taken this information, transferred it to a drawing, and then put it into action um, with some bits of timber. So that would be, right. be a good day. Yeah. Okay, well, it's getting a bit cold and it's home time, isn't it now? It is home time, yeah. Right, okay, yeah. we'll knock off then. Have a late.